very much, Paul. I mean, it's a fantastic illustration of uh, the concept of, of groups taking the data, believing it's theirs, and running with the data. And I think that that, that is a model that we'd really like to encourage. Uh, and I think it's a model that John Gallagher now will be talking about around cognition and how that will link in uh, particularly to the UK Dementias platform. John. Uh, thank you very much, Rory. Um, well, I, I think that it's... Uh, if I may have the first slide, that would be wonderful. Ah, okay. Cunning. Okay. So, um, the, uh, it, you hardly need to emphasize the importance of, of cognition in UK Biobank. What affects the body affects the brain. And uh, as, we, as we get older, we're, we are more aware. It becomes, uh, if you like, slightly uh, uh, more central to, to how we're evaluating our uh, quality of life and the quality of our relationships. So uh, the UK Biobank and the Dementias Platform UK are working increasingly closely together. We have a very good, strong, close collaboration to develop cognitive testing within the UK Biobank uh, community. And again, it's an extremely collaborative enterprise because just as UK Biobank is a research platform, so is the Dementias Platform. And therefore, we have this uh, desire very much to uh, share the data that we are collecting data on behalf of the broader and wider community. So uh, just to, to give a, an, an idea of scope, uh, we can see that as Biobank goes on over the years, that the number of conditions, and these are just, uh, just a, a small, uh, section, uh, small number of conditions that we could be looking at, the, condition, the number of people with those conditions uh, becomes increasingly large. And this makes it a, a very rich data set, a very sensitive data set for looking at the causes and mechanisms underlying neurodegeneration. So here are some of the tests that uh, Fergus uh, took part in when he and the rest of you who have taken part in when you went through it to our clinic. Uh, in one sense, they were gamified. They're, they're quite enjoyable tests, uh, also quite challenging. Uh, um, and they're all automated so that the scoring was done automatically. And uh, Fergus, I can say on, on the, the current uh, uh, um, performance, you're, you're, you're fine. Absolutely fine. Okay. Good, good. <laughs> if we look at the quality of the data we have, uh, this is a reaction time data, and as we, we see the, the absolutely expected log normal distribution, and we can see, a, if you like, a, a decline in, uh, in reaction time with age. So again, this, this gives us confidence in the data. If we look at numeric and verbal reasoning, we see a normal distribution, which is exactly what you would expect. And we see just a small decline uh, with age until you get to the older age group. And effectively, this suggests that we're looking at a fairly crystallized component. Um, if you like, it has a fair bit to do with our education and not just with our problem-solving ability. So again, we're characterizing the tests in terms of their performance. Here is episodic memory, uh, and here, if you, get, if you make an error, you score. So the high score is the wrong answer, and as you can see here, that the high scores, uh, the scores go up, the average scores go up with age, exactly as you would expect, and we have a, a log normal distribution with a slight cutoff at the... Uh, there were some very good performers in UK Biobank, is the truth of the matter. And as a result, we've had to make the test harder. So uh, um, if you're struggling with the test, blame yourselves, you were too good at it. So let me just give a brief summary of the cognitive data that we have. We have the baseline data at the clinic, uh, of course, uh, you know, 452,000 uh, scores. And then we did a five-year uh, reassessment on 20,000 people, just looking at whether there was change over that five-year period and could we use that information to, if you like, adjust the analyses later on. More recently, we've uh, done a web-based uh, 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 testing system because all of our tests are computerized, therefore they are intentionally designed so that they are suitable for web administration. And uh, if you do have uh, an email address and you are a part of UK Biobank and you don't, haven't let us know what it is, that means it's very hard for us to come back to you with a cognitive test. So please, if you do have that email address, do let us know. And we had a fantastic response. 140,000 people uh, completed these, these tests. And this is an absolutely fantastic data set. 
And now we're going through the imaging, and as, uh, as we were here, we are roughly 10,000 people through the imaging assessment, and we're working together with the Dementias platform to have, if you like, as you can see from that list, an enhanced battery of tests where we will be uh, measuring uh, people far more intensively to see how their performance, which is actually what really matters, uh, relates to their brain structure, which would be the underlying cause of their performance. So again, it's a very comprehensive uh, battery. Uh, and we're anticipating going back repeatedly uh, to biobankers, uh, uh, if you like, anticipating their generosity so that we can, have, we can map cognitive trajectories over a period of time. What I'd like to do now is just look at two particular applications of, of these data, uh, future applications. Uh, this is an incredibly rich data set. And one of the purposes of this data set is to allow us to identify the mechanisms that are, if you like, underlying disease. So describing things is fantastic, it's absolutely fascinating, but what we really want to do is be conducting experiments into what's going on. And we can do these experiments either, if you like, by re-inviting re people from UK Biobank to come and take further tests, or we can do it by, if, um, in silico experiments, by doing very highly controlled analyses. And uh, the data set allow us to do both. So here is just a sample of, uh, of a, if you like, a subset identification. We have the UK Biobank population of 502,000. We have episodic memory scores, um, if you like, uncorrected on 498,000. Um, if we were to look at the people who are struggling with their episodic memory, i.e. had a score more than two standard deviations below the mean, we would find roughly 17,000 of those. Um, and if we wanted to say, okay, let's restrict this analysis to people aged 55 and above, we would find 12,000 of those. Now, if we wanted to look at, if you like, APOE4, if you like, the high-risk gene uh, to do with Alzheimer's disease, and we assume an allele frequency of 20%, we would find 2,500 of those. Now, the nice thing about this uh, breakdown is it took me five minutes. And if you were to go and try it, go out to the general public and try and work out, how can I find these very specific people, it would just not be possible. It would be prohibitively expensive, and uh, the logistics would just uh, make it impossible. But here we can do it. And it's a fantastic resource. And we can invite people back for studies. We can do highly detailed uh, statistical analyses so that we can identify the mechanisms which are underlying this disease. OK, and finally, uh, I'd just like to uh, uh, look at the repeat imaging that uh, the, the UK Biobank and Dementias Platform are working together with. The Dementias Platform has been funded to re-image 10,000 people from the Biobank imaging cohort. So Biobank is imaging 100,000, and uh, we're going to uh, be inviting you uh, to volunteer, 10,000 of you to volunteer to have a repeat brain scan. And, and, and that repeat brain scan, which will have repeat cognitive function and repeat biosampling, et cetera, et cetera, will produce a resource, which if you look here uh, on, the, on these, this onion, if I could say that, and a resource which is an order of magnitude greater than anything as it exists elsewhere. So let's just go through it uh, very briefly. We have uh, the, um, if, you like, if you like, the outer blue circle, the UK Biobank baseline, that's 500,000 people. Uh, within that, there are 100,000 people being brain scanned and, and body imaged. And within that, there'll be 10,000 people with repeat imaging. And then you have the smaller circles, which gives you the, the size of the other studies around the world. So th this collaboration between UK Biobank and between the Dementias Platform UK it, it is really putting dementia, cognitive function, uh, at the very heart of, of this big study. Uh, it is put in the UK as a world leader to invite people from around the world to come in and try and solve the problem of dementia. And it's a real privilege to be part of this collaboration. Thank you. <laughs>